Hi everybody, thanks for watching Survey Homestead. This is a garden update for mid to late March 2019. The chickens came and scratched right here probably ate my seeds or exposed them these were the heirloom red giant mustard greens I'm gonna have to plant this again Chicken's also scratched up right here in Sims cucumber patch. So he planted some more seeds. And one of these plants died. The tomato plant. The other one's alive and the two peppers are alive. I think one's a hot banana pepper. And the other one might be a jalapeno. This is Steven's bed. It also suffered from a chicken attack. He has cucumber seeds and sugar snap peas, I think. I, I think he put them too deep, though. There's a couple of things coming up that look like they might be edible plants, but I'm not sure yet. They'll water this again later. I'm just helping them out since I was out here already. And it's been dry lately. The M.I. Gardener hillbilly tomato plants or seeds did really well. And these locally purchased cheap ones made a few little sprouts and then died. There's the gardenia bush. It's a frost tolerant kind. Looking forward to it blossoming. We already had a few in here and they all died. One was purchased and the other two we got from somewhere else, but they all just died somehow. This one is okay. It's been here probably six months, so it made it through the winter. But gardenias are so awesome. They smell amazing. This, this whole 50 foot area will probably smell good and sweet when it blossoms. It makes this cool, fluffy, delicate white flower. I had some purple queen or wandering Jew pieces planted in here that my brother and his wife gave us. And the chickens that kept getting out scratched that up too. I don't see any of them anymore. I wanted to use that as ground cover. Here's a young pecan tree that my parents gave us. That will be the new generation as these 40 year old, 50 year old ones around here start to have troubles and, and die off and fall apart. We have another one still in a pot and I need to really find a place to put it. I will probably put it next to Old Smokey right there once I finish cutting them down. 
Here's a muscadine vine. And it's twin. It's over there by that post. And right over here is a plum tree. And it's twin. It's right over there. Got these from my parents. Then we have our dwarf banana trees that we bought on sale. They grew a little and then died in the winter, so we chopped them off. And a few days later, they were sprouting up again about a month ago. So we have two of them right there, too. Looking forward to that. That'd be cool to get some little bananas. And it's all near the chickens. So if we need some manure, which I did for this bad boy, the manure is right here. So this thing is not even that far away from its twin. I don't know, 30 feet? It's a little bit lower right here. It gets, it stays wet, but this thing was really struggling. I thought it had died. And I put some chicken manure a few feet around it a couple of different times and watered it in. Yum, yum, good stuff. And look at that thing. It's taken over with leaves. And it's doing way better than that one. And that one was looking better. Look, this one barely has new leaves on it. power of chicken manure well there's a garden update for y'all hope it was entertaining and helpful get out there and start a garden as i said raised bed works well pots even buckets do something you can grow some of your own food and boy you learn a lot and it is so rewarding uh, now is the time in the united states at least uh, maybe the northern ports still have some snow or uh, cold weather but uh, you can start something with a little plastic teepee over it or a little greenhouse. And uh, right now it's, it's not going to be cold anymore. We won't have any more nights even near freezing. Uh, so it's, it's plenty of time to put things directly in the ground. And those little tomato sprouts in the little greenhouse, those are going to go in the ground soon too. Really looking forward to it. We're excited. So take care. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for your support of this channel. Au revoir.